Let me tell you about him Jesus is his name And I'm all about him I live to bring him praise He is the way and the truth and the life God is three in one Reigning undefeated Our God is overcome Jesus Jesus What's up guys? Uh, another road goal for you I uh, hope you're having an awesome day I'm so pumped up to, to share this with you I shared this verse last week And it was from 2 Corinthians 3 Through uh, I think 5 is what I shared But it's 2 Corinthians 3 through 8 is Or 3 through 7 is what we'll be talking about today And I don't have the, the scripture in front of me But something that really stuck out to me through that was as we talked about last week that God shows us in his word right there that that our source of comfort comes from him and him alone and we can search for it in a lot of different options in this world but our ultimate and only source of comfort through the sufferings and trials that we face in our lives that we do face every single day whether we want to admit we do or not our only source of comfort is from God He's the only place that we can run to where we can actually find true and everlasting comfort and that that kind of hit me because I struggle sometimes with going a lot of different directions looking for comfort and I'm sure just like any human being y'all do too we want to trust in different things that we enjoy doing and it just doesn't do the job Nothing in this world does the job like God. Only He can give us comfort. And as we see that God's the source of our comfort, then Paul in 2 Corinthians, verse, um, after verse 3, he starts saying kind of like why we go through what we go through as Christians. We, we go through sufferings. He makes that pretty ob obvious. And we see that throughout the Scripture, especially the New Testament, as we see Christians suffering so much. Why do we go through hard times? Why do we go through troubles? Wouldn't we, as Christians, as followers of God, as children of His, wouldn't we live like a perfect life with sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and it'd be perfect in like a fairy tale world? And no, it just doesn't work that way. That's what I thought for a long time. And it really hindered, it really hindered my growth with the Lord because I just couldn't understand why, why would we have to suffer if we're living for you, God, the creator of this world, it just didn't make sense to me. Maybe that's something you question and think about sometimes. And that's a good thing to to think about. Not to question God, but to just question him. Like, why do we go through what we go through? Because when you ask tough questions like that, you're going to get tough and real answers from God. And you're going to learn some things about God and about yourself that really... It increases your faith and grows you in ways that you'll never be able to do on your own. And especially by just putting these sufferings and these trials to the side and not like you're not even going through them and chasing your comforts from the world and just living your life that way and just taking all these comforts you have to the grave. All your all the pork rinds and fast food and Netflix and all the things that you may find comfort in. Some of those were mine. But <laughs> not the pork rinds. I'm not a big pork rind fan. But maybe some of those things you find comfort in, it's so easy to look and say, well, I'm going through some sufferings and stuff, but I'm going to find comfort in things from this world temporarily, and it'll get me through till I, till I die and leave this earth. But it's only temporarily. It's not eternally like the comfort that God promises us. So that's something to sit back and think about that with God comforts us. It's, it's long-lasting. It's forever. Like, literally forever. And that's hard and crazy to think about, but it's true. It's, it's just so true. Because that's who God is, and that's the comfort that He brings to our lives compared to what we seek from this world. But as easy as it is to, to put those things aside, the things that we go through and struggle with, and to try to try to be that perfect person and having that attitude of you know I'm just I'm just not gonna let anybody see me sweat and I grew up kind of in that in that mindset of if you get hurt rub some dirt on it don't be a baby and you know that sports mindset of 
if you get hit by a pitch in baseball, you better not cry. You better not show that you're hurting. You clench your teeth and you go to first base and you act like it didn't hurt at all. And that's kind of the mindset that I've taken into my adult life and it's it's a mindset that we take into our lives so often in this world around us because that's what the world tells us is the way to do. Uh, just clench your teeth, um, hold it in. If you get hurt, take it. Be a man about it. For whatever reason, showing your emotions and being real about your uh, the things that you're struggling with and the things you get hit by, that's not cool. It's not manly. It's not the, the thing to do. It, it shows people you're not perfect. And that's that kind of hurts our pride because we want to be perfect, right? But the thing about it is we're, nobody's perfect except for Jesus. And we should never, ever hold our emotions in. We should never hold our hurts in and the things that we're going through and getting hit by. And God shows us why right here. Because these things that we're going through, when we embrace them, we don't just push them to the side and chase our temporary comforts of this world. When we embrace them and we embrace the fact that we're going to go through suffering, we're going through suffering and we embrace God for comfort something starts to take place in our lives and I noticed in these verses I wanted to keep uh, seeing the theme is you know our our comfort that we receive from God is not about us and the, the sufferings and trials we go through there's purpose in that that leads to others and it's not about us but then I started noticing that there's a big part of that that kind of is about us that God's working his plan together and it says I want to say in verse 6 or 7 that Paul's talking to the church in Corinth and he's saying we're going through these sufferings but don't think it's not for for good like it's for your salvation and your comfort that we're going through these things that are really hard and really painful and that kind of hit me like that's starting to make sense now because in the last couple of years of my life since you know following Christ and and being a believer I have faced so many things that have been so hard I've faced sufferings and trials and, and things that I've been hit by that I could never have withstood on my own and it's just hard that's what happens when you're on the you're batting for the other team against the enemy he comes at you and those things in your life that aren't fun and aren't good and you're tempted all the time 24-7 and you go through a lot of things. And that is, that's the Christian life right there. But what is the purpose in that pain? The other day I wanted to see it. And I see like this big picture of what God's saying here in 2 Corinthians. That it's, for, it's for others. And it is. But it, it starts in you. It starts in you. When you embrace the sufferings and things you go through for Christ. The things that you endure and say, I won't give in to this world and, and chase the comforts of this world, but I will I will search and seek out for God and His comfort above all else because that is my only source of comfort. I will go to God with all my pain and all my troubles. I will be real about the things I go through with others. And I will tell them, just like Paul saying here, like he's not sugarcoating it. He's not being a big tough guy. He's saying, we're going through some things that are hard. We're suffering. But... But let me tell you this, Paul says, it is for your salvation and your comfort. And I started thinking about that more. And I started realizing after all these things I've gone through, what's been like the big thing that's brought things to others and comfort and, and impact to others' lives around me. It's not been crawling back and, like I said, chasing comforts of this world and, that, and just pushing these... these uh, these sufferings that we face under the rug like they're not happening what has actually changed in my life has been the growth that comes from going through pressure like I've always heard how diamonds I want to say it's diamonds are produced that there's this pressure that has to take place there's these big rocks of coal and, and all this nasty stuff and this pressure has to happen for these rocks to be pushed and and tools used to 
to push these rocks apart and then there's these diamonds that come out of the rocks and you always hear that term diamonds in the rough there's these rough jagged messy looking rocks that are nasty looking and that's me and you and what God does with that suffering that it's like that pressure pushing on us it's uncomfortable it's painful it's not fun and it, it produces growth in our lives as we come out more and more in the in the image of Christ it produces growth in our lives that makes us look more like diamonds not on the outside but on the inside where it really matters that we are grown stronger we can see clear we can speak clear about the truths of God we our faith has grown enormously which is like the biggest part of it and I started realizing in these verses that yeah it's not about us it's about others God's plan works to to really impact others lives and bring his glory and his comfort into their lives to let them know that what they're going through they don't have to chase things in this world that we have the chance our, ourselves and as he works through us to show them that like you can get through this just turn to God and the biggest part of that that I realized because I wanted to say the other day that it takes us witnessing and and telling others that but honestly it just takes living and embracing these sufferings and these trials and these troubles that it's talking about because when we do that when we go to God for comfort in those times and not turn anything else and and trust in him to get through these these tough times God produces things in us when we have to lean on him that we could never produce in ourselves that this world could never produce we become more and more made into the image of Christ as we suffer like he suffered as we go through things that he went through and things that aren't even close to what he went through we're made more into the image of Christ in this refining process of pressure like on those rocks that produce diamonds that produce beautiful beautiful things and like right now you may not be able to see that as you're going through some sufferings as you're going through some trials and some troubles you may be thinking all you see is this big lump of coal this nasty messed up jagged rock and you're thinking man i'll never get there i'll never be a, i'll never you know see any diamonds out of this i'll never be beautiful i'll never be able to to impact anybody in my life because these things I'm going through are so hard and I'm seeing all my weaknesses and you get so caught up in doubt and all these things that the devil tries to throw at you during these times of suffering but at the end of it if you just trust and, and lean into God on everything and press into him during this time of pressure that's being placed on your life then diamonds will be squeezed out by his hands he will comfort you through it and get you through it and most of all he will grow you through it and when God grows us through this process of, of going through suffering and and different things in our lives that's the biggest thing that I've noticed in all these things that I've wanted to question in my life where I've been like why am I going through this God why can't I just get a full-time job in ministry why do I have to work all these other jobs that I don't want to work why, why, why do I have to go through these things that I don't want to do? Why do I have to go through these things that are hard and that hurt me and that are painful and uncomfortable? And God just says, hey, if you really want to impact others' lives, you need to go through these things first. Because this is the process, and I see this more now than ever, that God's taking me and he takes you and all of us through this process of, of pressure and going through suffering and trials and he allows these things to happen in our lives because he, he produces a faith that leans into him and who he is a faith that is strong and can withstand any storm and a faith that can't be shaken or rocked or moved a faith that leans on God and God alone so how God uses us to impact others it's made in those moments of pressure and suffering how are others comforted by our suffering and our finding comfort in God during those times I was so confused by that the other day but now it makes sense because when God grows us and he and he allows that pressure to be on our life that produces that growth that we need to become better and better servants of him and followers of Christ 
that things come out of us and, and things take place in our lives that He starts working through us as we lean on Him. After we realize time and time again that we don't have what it takes, that we're able to really impact others in a way that we were never able to impact them before. And that's how God does that. He does it through the process of pressure and the process of, of growing stronger and well I just got home but <laughs> he does that through the process of growing stronger and it takes going through the pain and the suffering just like any workout any athlete would tell you it takes sweat and it takes being real about that sweat like man I'm hurting I need help man I'm hurting I need God and telling others about that but even more so, people are impacted as they see you go through this suffering and as they see you endure these things that aren't humanly possible to endure. And they're saying, why is this dude going through all this? And people are always noticing how you're going through all these things and it's impossible for a human to go through all these things. But with God, all things are possible. And things can happen in this process that are produced in you that will change someone else's life. Because I can tell you right now, me two years ago, I wasn't much good to anybody. Me three years ago, really not good to anybody. Me a year ago, still not that great to anybody. But what God has done as he's humbled me and as He's he works through that process, he allows us to be better and better servants and to be used for his kingdom and his glory and others lives around us and i really hope that makes sense but i just want you to know that embrace the suffering and things you're going through seek comfort in god and god alone because that is your source of comfort nothing in this world compares to his comfort and lean into him during this time because he is growing you he is pushing you and challenging you and creating you to be a diamond something beautiful that is able to reach into others lives and really speak truth and speak power that only comes from him and change their lives forever and that is just something so powerful as right now you may be looking at yourself like a nasty black jagged messy looking rock god is making diamonds out of you and going to produce diamonds through you as you embrace this process and lean into him because he's going to allow you to be able to do things after he's grown you through this time that you could never do on your own. Allow you to help others and serve others in a way you could never do on your own. So just embrace this time, guys. <laughs> it sounds like it shouldn't be a time you embrace. And usually the world will tell you not to and our instincts tell us not to. But embrace it because he wants to use you for more. And you're not just a big lump of coal that looks nasty and jagged and messed up that God is producing diamonds out of you you may not see it but have faith see through see through God's eyes see through faith he's doing things that you can't even imagine right now and what it's going to do in others lives that's going to be the best part of it how he works his plan together to not give you diamonds and bless you but to produce diamonds that makes others lives more beautiful that as you're able to serve them and impact their lives in ways that you never could on your own. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing how God does that. So just hope that makes sense. I uh, hope you have an awesome day. And yeah, love you guys. Love you so much. See you guys. Let me tell you about him. Jesus is his name. And I'm all about him. I live to bring him praise. He is the way and the truth and the life. God is three in one. Reigning undefeated, our God is overcome.